YouTube, how are you doing? Well, today we are in a Windows XP computer. I got the old Windows XP computer. In fact, it's a Toshiba satellite. It's the model 1800 something. And I just installed the drivers. I installed the light version of Windows XP. Got the thing with 256 megabytes RAM. Was really low, so I looked and found what, another 128 and I just popped it in, you know. So we have 300 and something. So I installed a light version of Windows, Windows XP, one that I made light way back. And here you can see it. I don't know if you can read it, but uh, it's saying, Intel Celeron processor 1.1 gigahertz with 368 megabyte RAM. So what is this machine? Is it for internet? No. This is, yeah, what is it? Maybe it will go on the internet. I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do with it. But first we're gonna change the look and feels. You know, desktop means everything to me and I really love a great desktop. So let's see what we can do about the desktop. I got a, a special team here and let me see if it's gonna work for us we're just gonna hit it and as you can see it's not working okie doke so let me see what is happening with this what I'm now doing I'm installing the Windows 8 setup pack for um, for Windows XP so let's see what we will get this is the installation this is how it uh, will look hope you can see anything Yeah, you should be able to see something. It's kind of dark. It's installing everything that we need to run this pack. It's called Windows 8 Style Pack. It's for Windows XP. So this is for Windows XP users. And when this is done, I'm gonna show you a little uh, surprise. I wanted to do this on the PowerBook. I still have to, you know, especially for the PowerBook users, there are still many out there, people that cannot, you know, throw away their little beautiful Mac that still has a better life than their brand new uh, computer. Talking about this thing, being standby for, for more than four days already. <laughs> it's fantastic. I just don't want to uh, throw it away, such a waste. You know, the thing is not worth it too much anymore, but only the looks and the way that it works and runs and does the job says enough. Okay, what really happened? It uh, finished the installer and then it came up to here. And then I can select Windows 8, Team, you know, so let's hit that one and see what's gonna happen. boom so now we got a kind of uh, background because i put this system on on very uh, fast so let's reboot it again we're gonna reboot now and soon we're gonna use the team and the team will finish the job so we also got a windows 8 login uh, screen just uh, planted into the and you can see here on top we also got a very nice little start menu with the Windows 8 Metro thing and we also get our first songs and there we also have a what is this thing oh my god and we also have a start screen no don't tell me we have a start screen start menu exa because the configuration is not good okay so that was not the deal what i wanted is to go into the team pack now 
and now I will enable the team and now the magic should happen there we go boom we hold on a second and you see this is without start button you see that there but we can select with start button and then we hit again and then here we should get a start button and you can see the whole skin just change into yeah it's called windows 8 but you can also call it windows 10 i think i'm gonna call it windows 10 because it looks just like windows 10 only um yeah the start thing shouldn't be there so let me see if i can kill that um here we can say screen position auto hide quit okay we just quit it boom so this is quitted no more screen so now we have a great uh, little um yeah um little windows 8 kind of team look all the icons just changed you see that and what you should do is this windows 8 theme you must go to uh, my computer oh it looks outstanding look at that and we go to c you hear that look like windows 8 and then we go to windows and then you must look for a folder called resources here it is and then you see a folder called teams open it up and just copy the windows 8 team into there so yeah boom you see that so everything is now on its place so this we can now kind of delete we don't need it anymore boom well if you think this video was cool of course uh, you must let me know if you still also have a windows xp computer also tell me about it and uh, let me know what you think of this beautiful uh, team that just upgraded the look and feels of the desktop from uh, old windows xp to something that we really love to look at you know it's really nice it doesn't uh, look uh, kind of different than some new system running windows 10 so i think it's really fantastic so thanks again for watching like subscribe if you uh, find the need to see even more videos that i create uh, of course subscribe then and uh, yeah see you in my next video bye